बोनजो आबू हेलो एवरी वन सेवन ग्रेड स्टूडेंट एज यू नो वी हैव टर्न द रीडिंग ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आर ग्रामर टॉपिक नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द ग्रामर टॉपिक वी विल ऑब्जर्व द लेसन दैट वी हैव डन सो स्टूडेंट इन योर बुक इट इज डिजाइन लाइक दिस इफ एनी ग्रामर टॉपिक इज स्टार्टिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू योर चैप्टर ओके सो वी हैव डन द रीडिंग सो आई एम टेल वॉन्ट टू टेल यू लाइक म लेव म ब्रूश म पील ओके एंड म रेपो नाउ वॉट इज दिस एम ई एंड अपोस्टोफी एम डू यू नो द मीनिंग वाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस वर्ड्स जस्ट वी के वी कैन सिंपली राइट डाउन ज ब्रूश येस वी कैन सिंपली राइट डाउन वाई वी आर एडिंग दिस एम ई एंड अपोस्टोफी एम वाई so uh, today's topic is based on this concept so this is your grammar concept live verb pronominal now we will today we will do the pronominal verbs pronominal verbs are conjugated with the pronoun which represent the same person as the subject of the verb means the same the subject and the pronoun uh, pronoun pronominal verbs are that verbs that is related to the subject and the action is done by the subject and the result of the action is received by the subject itself now read this line again the action is done by the subject and the result of the action is received by the subject itself they can also be called reflexive that reflex yourself uh one such example of already we have conjugate sapel so in english i uh, i want to tell you what is the reflexive verbs exactly like myself yourself their self themselves okay these are the reflective that is reflect myself is ref reflecting me okay myself is reflecting me yourself is reflecting you i myself is reflecting i i is a subject you is a subject and myself is reflecting the subject and yourself is re is, uh, is reflecting this subject so in english it is yourself myself and in french what how to speak myself yourself themselves so we just add m e with j t e with t u s s e with l l o o n s with o n u v o s with v now two two v and two n u you are use one is your v and second n u meaning is our self okay this is the difference so v v with l l it is sir so here myself the very good example of this is sir pal they are saying now how sir pal you all know very well we speak jama pal you all are speaking this from a very long time jama pal jama pal jama pal this m what is this m the exact meaning of this line is i call myself this apostrophe m is myself here and you know very well why apostrophe m is here because of this a a is plural actually it is m e but you know the rule if uh, whenever there is a vowel then we cut the e and put this apostrophe okay now this is this me is myself and i ask the question from you como tu ta pel yes you listen this word this line many times como tu ta pel now what is apostrophe t here what is apostrophe t here it is how you call yourself okay this is yourself actually this is yourself so with you you put t apostrophe with m uh, with j you you use m with you you use te with l l o you use s e with nu you you use same nu with wu same wu with l l this is c e so these are your reflexive verbs 
i hope this uh, this topic is clear to you please mention in the comment if it is clear to you all so today we will do the, uh, the examples also so one one example was apel jamapel komotyuta pel what are some uh, there are some more examples that are related to yourself for example sometime you say wake up so that wake up you are saying to yourself yes brush brush myself shave myself wash myself dress myself so for to reflect him the subject we use so 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 this is the uh, original word and with j this s e will change in m e with t u this s e will change in t e so on okay so these are the some verbs so read this verb meanings are given okay now how to conjugate is one verb is given sal sal away sal away means to get up so with j this s e will convert as m e and the other uh, thing will remain same as you know in the e r ending verb we have to cut e and put e e s e o n s e z e n t this uh, this rules will remain same we just change this s e that is given before the leve J we just change this s e here m e t e s e n o s v o n o u s v o u n s and s e so try to conjugate the other word verbs also that is given here so students so one homework i am giving to you if this topic is clear to you only then you can do the first exercise in your book so try to do the first exercise firstly you try then after i will tell you the answers okay students please try to do this this activity and if this topic is clear to you then please mention in the comment box so that i i can know that uh, it's clear to you all or not okay student aur bye bye abhi anto see you soon